pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 258, Insights. Let me remember that my goal is God. This lesson reminds us that this is a mind training program. In this mind training program, the goal is to return to our true identity, love. We do this by letting go of the artificial values of the ego. The ego always looks for material gain, material wealth, because that is what it values. The Holy Spirit always looks to bring us awareness of the truth, for that is what it values above all else. Awareness of the truth is hidden when our mind is filled with little senseless aims and agendas which keep our mind so busy that we don't have time to remember God. And yet, God remains there in our minds waiting for our acceptance. My goal today is to recognize senseless aims for what they are. My goal today is to quiet my mind of all the ego's chatter. My goal today is to open my mind to the awareness of God's presence. How much am I willing to be aware of God's presence today? What I seek for, I will find. Let me remember that my only goal is God. This world is filled with senseless aims and pointless goals which do not exist. Some of these goals are consciously set. We think these goals will bring us happiness or safety. But many of our goals are kept unconscious. These goals are made to help us hide from the guilt we feel because we believe we have separated from our source and thus caused harm to our source. It is these unconscious goals that are the basis for judgment in all forms of anger. They are attempts to claim the innocence we do not believe we deserve. We want to project the guilt we feel to anything and everything outside of us so that we can hide the fact that the guilt is in our own minds. This guilt is not real but it seems real because we believe separation is real. The attempt to put guilt and blame on everything outside us actually works against the goal of ridding ourselves of guilt. It makes the guilt continue to appear real, thus keeping it firmly entrenched in our minds. This is why we need to retrain our minds to have the goal to remember our unity in God. This is the way we end guilt. Guilt cannot be real because it is the effect of the illusion of separation. Remembering God ends the illusion of separation and reunites us with ourself with love. Love is innocent, being all encompassing and undivided. Therefore, we are innocent in truth. When we remember God, we remember our innocence. Holy Spirit, help me today to let go of senseless aims so that I may remember love. My goal is to see the love in my brother so that I may remember God in him and thus in me. My goal today is to recognize senseless aims for what they are. I have noticed that my list of needs is much shorter than it used to be. I take this as a good sign, but there are still material goals that I am unwilling to release. I think I need a certain amount of money to live comfortably, and I guess I am afraid God doesn't agree because I have been unwilling to just turn that part of my life over to him. I want to be able to pay my son's tuition to school. I want my body to be healthy and pain-free. I want my children to be part of my life. 
Those are the only ones I could think of. Today I am asking Holy Spirit to help me become aware of the unconscious goals I have set for myself. I know they are there, but I am not facing them and I want to. I want God to be my only goal. I give Holy Spirit all resistance I am feeling toward relinquishing my ego goals. I give him my fear and doubts and ask for another way to see this. Pathwaysoflight.org